Okay, mga gabi sa tanan. Salamat sa inyong pag-ari, sa inyong faithfulness to come even on Wednesday service. Uh, Nakadumdum ko, there was a time nga uh, backslide na gamay, nga tuyo-tuyo on the uglate. Pero pasalamat ko sa inyong early mo today, tonight. Okay, please uh, open your Bible to James chapter 5 verse 11. Uh, you know, kanang mag uh, preach to the na agyo ng kulba ba? So, uh, ilabi na sa pagsaka na ko ganiha nga, no, aman si Pastor Kent, ba sinasayop ko? <laughs> Basi next week pa ko, ano, naunsa naman yun? <laughs> Ako tong didool, siya ko niya, ba sinakalimutan ka? <laughs> Ikaw ron? <laughs> Sini siya, dili, dili. Di man kuwins di, dili. Kwa salamat, wala ko nasayop. Amen? <laughs> Ako gidi ay. Okay, so, uh, kinsay diri last Sunday? Last Sunday evening. Last Sunday evening, okay? Thank you. I think you heard, uh, we heard uh, Pastor Denisi, Frank Denisi, preach to us. I was really so encouraged at that time. Na ako'y burden sa akong heart. Timing yung kami sahi. Kung ninduta din, no? maka-encourage ta. I was really encouraged. You know, his points were, sa so ganito, exact attack. No? Then next is, economical attack ni Satan, then effective attack. Well, uh, from there, our message tonight stems from there. Okay? So, as you know, what na ilang tao nga gi-attack og maayo ni Satan in the Bible? And that is Job. So, the title of our message tonight is The Example of Job. So, uh, let us read uh, James chapter 5 verses Verse 11, only one verse. Ready? Read. Behold, we count them happy which endure. Ye have heard of the patience of Job, and have seen the end of the Lord, that the Lord is very pitiful and of tender mercy. Let us pray. Lord, Heavenly Father, God, thank you for the message that you have given to us. Every preacher, Lord, I pray that you will continue to bless them. 
Lord, I pray that the message tonight, as you impress in my heart, Lord, I pray that it will bring it. Lord, I pray that it will bless them also as well, Lord, as I was blessed. Lord, because in our life, there are trials and testing. And Lord, we need to be encouraged by your word. And the example of Job is one of them. Lord, I pray that you will be with me. Again, without you, I can do nothing. All these things I pray in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. So, every time uh, I have a problem of my own, I would, usually I go, I will remember Job. Nga, for what have uh, God has commended Job, uh, God said like this in uh, Job 8, 1, 8, a perfect and an upright man, and one that feareth God and escheweth evil. So kung iini ka maayos si Job in the eyes of God, and God allowed Job to go through these tribulous times, nga lisud ka ayong testing, sayang kinabuhi, how much more ako or ikaw? Nga dili gaita ka dool sa iyang commendation from God to him. No? So, I would gladly to say, ah, si Job gani, naglisod man, ako pa. No? So, and then from again, the attack of Satan, of the three, exact attack, economical attack, effective attack, dili effective si Satan. You know? Because the Bible says, Job, in all this, Job sinned not. And even he retained his integrity. So, what good mada si Job? So, it is good example to know sa trials and testing ni Job kung unsa man ning mga butanga nga gi try sa Ginoo saya as we remember first in our message tonight number 1 Job lost his wealth right in all this Job lost his wealth number 1 we find it in uh, Job first chapter 1 Job chapter 1 verses 14 to 17 that his sheep were sheep were lost to the were lost by fire na sunog and iyang 3000 camels gikuha sa Chaldeans ang iyang 500 yoke of oxen and she asses gikuha sa Sibians no so to really think ma makuha we can grasp the the gravity sa sa iyang kaliso gibati ani nga so I tried to, you know, Google it. So 7,000 sheep, kung ang usaka sheep, uh, $150, it times ni mo 7,000. Gamay ba no? Usubo na ito ni. Pag di mo klaro na. Okay. Naasa 1 million ang iyang sheep. Then, ang 3,000 camels, if we put a rate at 5,000 each. Okay, kita na ko, mahal ko nun ng camel, rabi nag-racing a camel pang race. Times 3,000, it would reveal 15 million US dollars. Tanawala, ka na lang. 500 yoke of oxen. So, a yoke of oxen, duha man akabuk. One oxen is $4,000. So, times two, that's 8,000. Then, 5,000 pairs, that's 4 million. 500, that's 4 million. And then 500 she asses cost at 1,500 a piece times 500, that's 750,000 US dollars. So in total, 20 million 800 US dollars. Unya kung ato ning i convert sa pesos times 50 average, that's 1, mil, 1 billion pesos. He lose it one day. Imagine one day lang. So at that time, that's why the Bible says a very great household. Come to think, in any worth sa imong property, sa imong animals, the kinanglan ka workers. And you know, think about this, kung, you know, kanang nai business diri nga, things will do na gani, askang sakit na sa ulo. No? Pero si Joe was able to give them salary because dato man siya. Pero this man was the greatest of all men of these, the Bible says. So really, the Bible is accurate. Tinood yun nga dato yun si Job. But you know, he lost his wealth in one day. So let us see passages in the Bible that helps us understand about money and what should be the kind of attitude we should have towards it, like Job. Because maybe, basin mahuwag tang sana sa imo. 
So, unsa may itong kilang buhaton? Letter A, don't put your trust in your wealth. Ayo saligi ang kwerta. Let's find this in 1 Timothy chapter 6, verses, no, verse 17. 1 Timothy chapter 6, verse 17. First, 17. Okay, I'll read. Charge them that are rich in this word, world that they be not high-minded nor trust in uncertain riches, but in the living God who giveth us richly all things. Now, think about this. So, dili ta kinahanglan mo salig kay, the Bible says, uncertain ang kwarta. Dili kasaligan Kay mo na siya volatile ba? Na mauni siya karon, You know, kung labi na invest ka o business, niya nakasa online, niya exchange rate ang imong basihan, kanang dollar.